These African easterly waves are areas of low pressure. This is where moist tropical winds are flowing in, converging, and rising upward, forming giant thunderclouds. And there's a sequence of these waves. There are about every three to five days, new ones come off of Africa, 60 to 70 all told during the summer months. But only about one in 10 of these waves ever develops into a named tropical system. So we want to better understand why are there so few tropical cyclones? Do any of you in the audience have any clues about some of the things that could limit the development of a cyclone in the tropics? Water temperature. Water temperature. Very good answer. There is a magic number for water temperature. I'm going to ask this question a little later on. So be thinking about what that magic number is and the other things you think interfere with the genesis of hurricanes. What's that? Can you speak a little bit? Wind movement, direction. Okay. Uh, so maybe something about the winds you're saying? Mm -hmm. uh, if the winds are too strong, actually, that can interfere. That's called wind shear. Okay, so that's another destructive force. There's a new one that scientists have very recently learned about, and you have to study the Sahara Desert to understand what that is. Does that ring a bell in anyone's mind? Dust, plumes of dust blowing off the Saharan Desert actually interfere with the growth of these storms. I'll tell you a little bit more about that further on.